guys, it's Annie here with Universal Parks News today and we are back at the Universal Orlando Resort to see what's new. Our first stop of the day is going to be at Islands of Adventure. Let's go. Run, don't walk to Treasures of Poseidon because the Poseidon's Fury shirt has been restocked. These are the new shirts for the final tour of Poseidon's Fury. They released over the weekend and sold out almost immediately, but they are back in stock. So again, if you want one of these, make sure you run to Lost Continent. It's a beautiful shirt and it's $27. The All Hallows Eve Boutique in the Lost Continent has a lot of new Halloween shirt company t-shirts available. And these are $35 each. This shirt is probably my favorite. I love the spooky summer vibes. Well, it looks like we're into the slow season. Only a 25 minute wait for Velocicoaster. Definitely slow season, but not for much longer, I would assume. Look at this, beautiful. Only a 50 minute wait. Honey Dukes has some brand new mystery pins. They are wizarding cards from the Chocolate Frogs. The box is super cute. And inside you can get one of the mystery pins and they are $16 each. The Hogsmeade stage is getting its annual refurbishment, but you can still have meet and greets with the performers from the show. There's a dinosaur. The Pizza Predatoria sign isn't working today. Sad. 15 minute wait for Kong. Skull Island Reign of Kong hasn't been running the outdoor portion of their track lately. The last few times I've been on, it has just gone in B mode where it goes directly inside, even though it had, you know, no weather issues. So I think there might be a technical reason. We'll see. If you are missing Mardi Gras, stop by the Slurp and Snack or Ale to the Chief in Toon Lagoon and grab yourself a Goombe Smash in a light up Mardi Gras cup. It is $12.68. And you do get discounted refills with the Mardi Gras cup. The new UOAP lounge in Islands of Adventure is now officially open. There's a full tour of the lounge here on the channel and over at universalparksnewstoday.com you can find a full list of all the pass holder perks, but I'm going to show you my personal favorite, the new magnet. So the new magnet is themed to Jurassic Park as you can see, and we're going to have a lot of Jurassic Park stuff this summer. Okay, I, I don't know if I've... I don't know what's going on here at Kathy's ice cream, but uh, this doesn't look great. And yet it's open. Huh. Well, sure that'll be fixed soon, right? I just made a quick stop into Marvel to get a potato knish. They are delicious. I am obsessed with these. They are so good. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. They're delicious. giving me exactly what I need to go to Universal Studios Florida next. Let's go. 
a beautiful, very breezy day. It's so quiet. Now let's see what's happening at Universal Studios Florida. And the new entrance is still not open, but the construction walls have shifted a little bit inside. I'll show you. So the construction walls have now extended towards the on location gift shop here. Here's another angle of those construction walls. Guest services is still open as well as first aid. You'll just have to kind of take the walk in front of Today Cafe to get here. Inside Studio Suites at the Universal Studios store, we have found churro fudge. And I don't know about you guys, but if I had a Jurassic Tribute store, this sounds like something I would serve. The big pink donuts have gone up in price again. They are now $10.99. They are big, but now they're also big and expensive. Now through August, if you purchase any of the Love is Universal merchandise, 100% of the profits will be donated to local organizations, including Zebra Youth, the Center Orlando, and One Pulse Foundation. So grab some merchandise and help a good cause. The construction walls around Despicable Me Minion Mayhem have come down and the entrance refurbishment is now complete. And look, only a 30 minute wait. I told you today's really quiet. The hole over the Betty Boop store is now covered up. It looks like it's ready for a new sign. We've been patching a lot of holes around here. The little hole that was on the side of VillainCon is now patched up too. Well, this is an interesting turn of events. So I already walked the park this morning before I started filming, and now I'm filming in the afternoon, but this area of Minion Cafe was not covered up this morning, and now it looks like they are starting to put up more of those windscreens. I'm gonna zoom in a little here. Well, it was fun while it lasted. There are some brand new Quidditch Team Captain water bottles available in quality Quidditch supplies in Diagon Alley. There is obviously one for each house. And on one side it has the letter. And on the other side it has the house crest and the name. And they are $22 each. Oh, and let me show you how they open too real quick. There are some brand new Quidditch Team Captain headbands. This is a set of two headbands. And it is $35. They feel really nice quality though. And you can see they have all the houses on it. And it says Quidditch Captain on it. And there's also a set of new scrunchies which have the Hogwarts houses on them as well as like the golden snitch on there and some other little details and there's a white one and a black one in this pair and this is $25 for the two scrunchies. The bridge between London and Springfield is getting a few little repairs it looks like. A little squares here. If you're looking for a place to celebrate Cinco de Mayo, come out to City Walk on May 5th from 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. Well, that's it for our visit to the Universal Orlando Resort today. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like on the video if you have a minute. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.